Hi folks and welcome to Attica Armory. We hope you enjoy this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments section and remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. A while back we did a video on rifle sight alignment using aperture sights like these. We'll leave a link to that video in the description if you're interested. We received some requests for a similar video for pistol sight picture. Ask and ye shall receive. This video will focus specifically on pistol sighting techniques using standard iron sights. We'll be covering two important sight pictures today. The first is a basic aimed shooting technique using the dominant eye only, with a hard focus on the front sight. This method is great for beginners who are new to shooting, as it is easier to master. It also works well for longer range precision shooting in a controlled environment. The second will be something commonly referred to as point shooting. It's performed with both eyes open and a hard focus on the target. This technique is very well suited for dynamic combat scenarios in uncontrolled environments, as it allows a broader field of view and improved situational awareness. Please note that we will do this demo in a right-handed configuration. If you are left-handed, your sight picture will be an opposite mirror image of what you see in a video. Let's start off with standard aim shooting first. Close your left eye. We'll call this the weak eye. And use your right eye for aiming. We'll call that the dominant eye. Bring the gun up to the sight plane of the dominant eye and align the top of the front sight with the top of the rear sight. Make sure the front sight is directly in the center of the rear sight notch. Align the top center of your front and rear sights with the center of your target. Focus on the front sight. This will leave the rear sight and the target slightly blurry. This is what your final sight picture should look like. Place your finger on the trigger and slowly press it back to take up any slack. Take a deep breath and exhale, then continue to squeeze the trigger at the natural pause at the bottom of your exhale. As you press the trigger to the rear, hold the gun steady and make sure the sights stay aligned until the cartridge ignites. As the trigger breaks and the cartridge fires, retain your focus on the front sight so you can quickly realign for your next shot. Release the trigger only until it clicks and resets, then repeat the process. Now, let's take a look at point shooting. Some point shooting techniques appear to ignore the sights entirely instead relying on an instinctual and sometimes arbitrary natural pointing of the weapon. Like when you ask your kid to pull your finger. We prefer to teach what we call a sight-enhanced point shooting method, as it still maintains the tactical benefits of point shooting, but adds the precision of standard aimed shooting. Keeping both eyes open, raise the gun up to the sight plane of your dominant eye. Now focus on the target instead of the front sight, and notice how you see two blurred images of the gun. The image in the center is the one from your dominant eye. That is the image you must train yourself to pay attention to. The slanted image off to the side is the image from your weak eye. That is the image you must train your brain to ignore. You can train yourself by putting masking tape over your shooting glasses on the weak eye, but keeping both eyes open while shooting. This will condition you to naturally bring the gun up to the strong eye's sight plane and teach your brain to further ignore the image from the weak eye. You must focus on the target when using both eyes open techniques. Otherwise, if you focus on the front sight, you will start seeing two blurry targets. While seeing double might sound like fun when you're on vacation at Mardi Gras, it sucks a big one when a bad guy is raining lead on your position. When you focus on the target and line your sights up dead center, this is what your enhanced point shooting sight picture should look like. Place your finger on the trigger and slowly press it back to take up any slack. Take a deep breath and exhale. Then continue to squeeze the trigger at the natural pause at the bottom of your exhale. As you press the trigger to the rear, hold the gun steady and make sure the sights stay aligned until the cartridge ignites. As the trigger breaks and the cartridge fires, retain your focus on the front sight so you can quickly realign for your next shot. Release your trigger only until it clicks and resets, then repeat the process. Remember, dry practice makes perfect. 
The best way to master proper shooting technique is to dry practice using an unloaded weapon. Always make sure your gun is unloaded and remove all live ammo from the immediate area. Find yourself a safe place to aim and choose a small target in a safe area to take aim at. Please note, the neighbor's cat is not an ideal target. Begin practicing with some slow, smooth trigger pulls while maintaining proper sight picture. Make sure you are not flinching or otherwise moving the gun before, during, or after the trigger breaks. This is a good time to work on controlled trigger resets as well. Stick with it a few times a week for a few months and you will be blown away at how much your live fire skills improve. And that about wraps it up, folks. Thanks for visiting Attica Armory, and we'll see you again next time.